physics only uh, for this year our team is actually on games and entertainment. So uh, we are supposed to investigate the physics behind uh, games that we actually choose for our project. So for my group, uh, we actually did on Karen Bot. We actually made a prototype for them to aim uh, accurately. Inside the prototype, we actually used three springs and it's attached all together. But there are times where the three springs actually actually overlap each other. After this game, right, we realised that actually the fun in games actually comes from the uncertainty in, in shooting. So basically, we were working on the idea of projectile motion and we were thinking of studying the trajectory of a Nerf gun. Then, instead of buying a Nerf gun off the shelf, we thought of building our own gun. We wanted it to be more accurate, so we added in a laser system to it. Uh, we spent roughly around two weeks for the construction part, and then we spent one, a few days in trialling it, and we learned that as much fun as we can have, safety always comes first. We are investigating phenomena that we take for granted, phenomena that we see in everyday life, that we think is simple but actually quite profound. For example, when you throw balls up and down, you see that the ball goes higher than your hand. Why do stuff happen in real life, actually? And it's actually because of physics. You get to do things directly. You don't just learn the concept itself, but we're going to apply what we know into something that's concrete. And I think that's really um, fun and important in your learning process. So this is our Physics 1D project where we are doing um, pendulums. This concept is based on a simple harmonic motion where we have a series of pendulums with different lengths. So when we displace them to the same angle, they will form patterns. Originally, right, we didn't use we, decide, we didn't decide to use the spheres. We wanted to use the nuts. However, right, um, because of the uneven mass distribution, this could not oscillate properly. That's why we decided to change to this uh, sphere thing. I really enjoy working with my teammates because they are a very fun bunch of people to work with and they are all very bubbly and <laughs> crazy, yeah. After seeing a bunch of videos about roller coasters, we realised that they are all quite one-dimensional. So we thought that we could uh, incorporate some other thrill rides together with the roller coaster to make the uh, roller coaster more exciting. You uh, drop the ball right from the start and then it's going to go around a loop and then around a bang then it's gonna go down a spiral cone and then down a wooden track and back into a box which will hit a trigger and bring it back up to the top again and then you'll start another loop. Uh, it's better for you to just uh, put your hands into whatever that you're thinking and just do it. <laughs>